All right, my friends, my mass producing friends. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's just work something out here for a second. Now, who's heard this thingamajig about the full frame? Full frame, full frame, full frame. You ever heard that? You ever heard that when you're in the camera store and you're like, mm, I want this camera. And then the guy says to you, oh, but full frame is better. You know, you know, what is full frame? Yeah, because full frame is like what cool people do and stuff. Yeah, sweet, sweet, sweet ass. Okay, good. So, full frame is talking about the size of the sensor in the camera. Okay, all right. Just behind this little mirror here. Okay, good, I just opened it. There is the digital sensor right there, okay? Okay, good. Now, compare that. Now, this here is a roll of film. This is a legit roll of film, as in it's not digital, and you actually have to do things with it, and there's no Photoshop uh, installed in this, okay? Good. So, now, when cameras were first invented, they, they used this film, okay? Now, I'm not going to unroll this film, because otherwise I will destroy the photos I've taken on this. But literally, if you can imagine, if you pulled that out, now the size of that, what's between my fingers and la la la, that is the size of a piece of, like one frame in a piece of film. Okay? Yes. Now that is a frame. Okay, that is a frame. Good, good. Now, if you look at the, uh, the relative size difference, difference between this piece of film and the sensor of this particular camera, you might find that the camera sensor is smaller than the piece of film. Okay, that's because it's true. This is not, this is not the full size of this piece of film. It is not the full frame size of this piece of film. Okay, but you know, but uh, people will say to you, you know, like, of course, you can get uh, cameras which have the same uh, size as a full, same, same sensor size as a piece of full frame film. It takes up the full frame. See here, it's a, sort of like a cut down midgety version of a full frame. Okay, good. So what's the difference? What's the difference? Because a full frame camera with a full frame sensor is more expensive. This is called, um, well, to keep it simple, it's called a crop frame sensor. Crop as in you've just, you've taken the full frame and you've just cropped a smaller piece out of it. Good, what's the difference between, why is it better to have full frame rather than a croppy thing? Okay, good. So basically, all right, all right, fine. So well, you can say there's two things, maybe three things better. All right, so if your sensor is bigger, um, I guess, technically, the more sensitive it is to light, because it's a bigger piece of, it is a bigger piece, bigger surface area from which to capture light. So if you're, if you have less light, it can, it can suck in more light. So it's a bit better in low light. Okay. That's one advantage of full frame. Uh, secondly, um, now if you imagine that, Hey, this is like the, uh, this, this sensor in here, that one right there. That's like the eye, okay? The eye is taking in the light and seeing things. Now, if you have a bigger eye, if you have a bigger eyeball, I guess you could make the connection that you would be able to see more. That's a strange analogy, but it kind of works. So literally, the, the thing with that is, right, um, it's like, okay, good. So this is a cropped, this is cropped, you've cut down. You've cut down the size of the sensor. So you've also cut down how, how much you can see. You've cut down the field of view. So what that actually does is you can take, say this one is a 50 millimeter lens, and you can put this same lens on this camera here, which is a crop sensor, and you can put this same lens on a full frame camera. And what you will find is that uh, on the full frame, it will show what 50 millimeter, the zoom of a 50 millimeter lens looks like. And on a crop crop uh, sensor, la, 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 it will actually show you less and it will look like it's more zoomed in. It's not actually more zoomed in, it's just cropped in more. So, so what the point is, 
This 50 millimeter lens, even though it has written on it 50 millimeter, if you put this on a camera with a smaller image, a smaller sensor size, it will actually be the equivalent of something like 75 or 80 millimeters, even though it's a 50 millimeter. So you can like do the maths on that. And so literally any lens will be more zoomed in if you put it on a smaller sensor. That's very interesting, huh? The smaller the sensor, the more zoomed in any lens is going to be on a camera. Also, the smaller the sensor, I guess the less sensitive it is to light. But that ain't so true because technology is so good these days that even a phone, which literally the sensor in a phone is like smaller than Uncle Charlie. If you know what I'm saying. No, you don't. It doesn't matter. So, yeah. I mean, take your pick. Oh, there's one other thing. All right, cool. So number three. Number three. This is not so noticeable, but when you really take a lot of photos, you start to notice it. The bigger your sensor, also, you can get even less in focus. You can get even less in focus. even less in focus. So like, if you talk about, you know, you, you, you want uh, a lens so you can blur the background, it's even easier to blur it because a bigger eye, it's just the physics of it, okay? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going back to high school. That's your lesson. Think about shooting film sometimes because that's pretty cool. Ciao, people.